today, yeah. Stevie. It's yeah. going to be hot out there. Absolutely. It's going to be great to listen to some Chase Rice out by the pool this afternoon. I mean, we're going to be dealing with a very hot and steamy day on tap. Once again, we have another day with temperatures in the 90s, and it's kind of fitting because today is actually the start of meteorological summer. It begins today, June 1st. You can see temperatures are starting off very mild, about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning, mainly in the mid 70s. And our dew points at this moment are kind of set up in the mid and upper 60s, even lower 70s along the eastern shore. That's making it feel very, very muggy as you step outside. So you don't need the jacket this morning and you don't even need it this afternoon. Once again, we are going to be hitting the low to mid 90s later on today. Starting off dry this morning, heading into the afternoon. A few spotty showers are possible, mainly along the I-95 corridor. I wouldn't be surprised if we heard a few rumbles of thunder right around the time of first pitch for the O's game uh, right at 7.05. So just be mindful of that. But most spots stay dry. However, for tomorrow, things start to change. We have a cold front that's going to be sliding in from west to east, generating the potential for some widespread severe storms for tomorrow afternoon and evening. That cold front is going to clear off shore as we head overnight into your Friday and pleasant weather will prevail as we head into Friday and just in time for the upcoming weekend. So there is the potential for some severe storms tomorrow. We are under a slight risk. That means damaging wind and large sized hail will be the primary threats for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the day you want to stay weather aware and keep checking on radar, especially if you have to be outside. But we are tracking the tropics. Not only is it the start of meteorological summer, but it's the start of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. So we already have some development, mainly along the southern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, this is actually the remnants of Hurricane Agatha. This is expected to become a tropical depression later on this weekend. And then we have another disturbance, mainly around the southwestern portion of the Atlantic Ocean that I'm keeping my eye on as well. But we have the potential for some pretty strong and pretty hefty storms for your Thursday. But you'll notice as we take a look at your seven day forecast, we're really going to be dropping in the temperature department as we wrap up the work week, topping out right around 81 degrees as we head into your Friday afternoon. Looking at the upcoming weekend, lots of sunshine to talk about. Perfect conditions for the Baltimore 10 miler. It's going to feel great as well. We're going to kick that humidity out of here, all thanks to that cold front that's going to be sliding through tomorrow. Heading into the start of early next week, we will start off with wall to wall sunshine with highs right around 83 degrees, 85 for Tuesday, and then we'll bring back the potential for a few rain showers during the afternoon and evening. Liz? Stevie, big, big problems in.